Assalamualaikum, Tengku. Assalamualaikum. Ha, thanks for coming back on the show. Ha, jadi, mungkin pertamanya ha, nak tanya pendapat Tengku pasal ha, apa senario yang yang sedang berlaku sekarang ni dalam arena politik yang kita dengar about people who are becoming independent. That yeah. seems to be the new political trend. Yeah. Ya, yeah, nampak dia orang sudah tidak ada kepercayaan terhadap perjuangan satu-satu parti. Uh, begitulah halnya dengan uh, seluruh negara. Bukan saja terhadap parti-parti yang berkuasa sekarang tetapi juga terhadap parti-parti yang uh, bertindak sebagai pembangkat. Kita dengar pagi ini uh, salah seorang daripada MP dari Bayan Baru uh, mewakili PKR telah uh, mengisytiharkan dirinya bebas keluar daripada PKR dan Uruga mengatakan lebih ramai lagi akan uh, keluar berapa orang saya tak tahulah ini cakap-cakap orang di luar parti berkenaan sama ada ini akan melemahkan barisan pembangkang itu terpulang pada keadaan dan sudah tentu tindakan macam ini akan menyeronokkan orang yang suka melihat Barisan Nasional uh, kembali kuat, kembali uh, utuh, kembali uh, berkesan. Tetapi sama ada itu dapat dilakukan terpulang kepada pimpinan yang ada, terpulang kepada uh, parti-parti komponen dalam Barisan Nasional yang saya rasa sudah pun berpecah randah seperti MCE, MIC, Gerakan, PPP, SEPP memang dah keluar uh, dan lain-lain lah yang beri bantuan kepada Barisan Nasional sebelum ini. Dan UMNO sendiri walaupun nampak masih kokoh dan sebagainya tetapi terpulang kepada uh, keadaan sekeliling uh, dengan dasar-dasar yang akan dikemukakan sama ada cocok atau tidak sama ada dapat diterima bukan saja oleh ahli-ahli parti tetapi oleh rakyat seluruh kerana kita menghadapi uh, keadaan uh, ekonomi yang begitu genting kerana uh, ekonomi dunia pun tak menentu uh, ekonomi sebesar Amerika Syarikat pun uh, sedang menghadapi banyak masalah begitu juga dengan Eropah Jepun uh, yang mempunyai hubung Uh, hubungan yang rapat dengan kita dari segi pertalian perdagangan, pertalian pelaburan dan sebagainya Jadi bagi Tengku mungkin persoalan yang yang patut bermain dalam fikiran ahli-ahli politik sekarang ni actually sebab memang kita patut fokus pada ekonomi lah Oh ya memang kerana uh, peluang pekerjaan amat penting bagi rakyat seluruh Tengku uh, balik pada soal menjadi um, independen eh, ataupun bebas mengisytiharkan uh, sebagai bebas ada setengah pihak yang yang bertanyakan keadaan uh, posisi ataupun kedudukan tengku sendiri dalam parti AMNO uh, seperti ada bermain silat <laughs> boleh tak tengku bagi komen are you going to This is the soalan cepuk emas lah orang kata. <laughs> saya tak anggap begitu. Saya orang Amno. Uh, saya sebut tu saya orang Amno dari dulu lagi sehingga sekarang. Uh, walaupun satu ketika dulu saya tak berparti dan parti Amno diharamkan oleh mahkamah. Uh, langsung saya diminta memimpin semangat 46 yang menjelma sebagai sebuah parti atas ilham almarhum Teku Abdul Rahman supaya orang yang bersama dengan saya tak uh, menyeberang masuk parti-parti pembangkang yang lain apabila tak diterima masuk balik ke dalam UMNO baru jadi uh, semua pun begitu saya orang UMNO walaupun semangat 46 apabila saya beruning semula dengan Dr. Mahathir semasa itu dia Presiden Uh, UMNO baru untuk kita bergabung semula dalam satu pakatan uh, langsung kita bersetuju bubar sepanjang apa pun lah. saya masih orang UMNO hmm. jadi saya masuk UMNO baru tetapi sebagai orang UMNO 
maksudnya uh, maksud tengku ni kalau boleh kalau saya tak salah faham lah uh, wherever you go you are still an amno person yes yeah i i i live the life of an amno amno <laughs> amno struggle uh, from 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 well from the days when i came back from from my university so even in a hypothetical situation yes. if you were to leave amno you would still be an amno person inside yeah i feel, i feel that way i feel that way well more than half my life i've been there but it doesn't mean that i'm going to follow blindly and faithfully uh, the wrongs that some people do in amno mm-hmm. i will I, i have my own principle and i stand by my principle and that is upholding constitution and the laws of the country and for which amno stands for today now yes what is your opinion of of amno well I'm not sure veer back to its original cause. Uh, that's why it is losing support. Why must I'm not lose support after having done so many things for the country from the day we negotiated for independence to today. We have done a lot, you know, and we should uh, get these people to endear themselves to Amno. But in fact, people are running away from Amno. Especially people like you, the young, <laughs> are not uh, not with us, and uh, that is not something that we can uh, just dismiss. We must really look into it seriously. There must be something uh, flawed with us, something grossly wrong with us. Do you think things are being rectified, or are things? I being... don't think so. I think it's being glossed over. And so, what is the end game? Well, the end game is that if they don't uh, reform themselves and change uh, in accordance with the wishes of the majority of the people, particularly the young, I think Amno is doomed. So, would you stay with the doomed? Well, I'm trying to do my best to 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 influence the trend so that it will come back to its original course. Okay. The good, uh, people have no quarrel with the old Amno. They supported old Amno. Uh, through thick and thin, and we have done all these uh, uh, things successfully from 1957 onwards, and and people continue to support us. In fact, people were very proud to be associated with Amno, yeah. to be a member of Amno. But of late, they don't want to be associated with Amno. I know my uh, grand, my maternal grandfather and grandmother were in Amno yes. in in Selangor, and then now I'm not. Yeah, you know, people are not sure. Yes. Uh, balik pada young people. At the launch of uh, the Institute for Democracy and Economic Affairs, IDEAS, uh, Tengku ada sebutkan tentang uh, ke- uh, perlunya orang muda masuk dalam arena politik. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kerana if we leave it to the uh, deranged, yes. things will not, they will still it will spiral. Not happen. It yeah. will not happen and the country will not change. So, so, so we need new ideas from young people who can come forward in order to uh, take over the leadership of the country and they must not be afraid to do that after all i mentioned in my speech uh, that uh, launch of the ideas at memorial to kok drahman last monday that to kok drahman was the only person who was above 50 the rest were all below 30s to abdul razak to dr ismail to saadun all were young they were all in the 20s ke johari And uh, there's no reason why the young of today shouldn't step forward and uh, take bigger responsibility, bigger role in helping to sh- reshape the country. Okay. And don't allow it to drift, as most people are saying uh, it is drifting. In fact, it's in a decline. Last question, Tengku. If ever it came to it, if ever Amno is in a situation to ask you to leave would you well i have no choice if they ask me to leave or they sack me for things i have not done anything uh, unforgivable uh, then so be it thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you